cleared all levels of CA in first attempt with regular college? How did I do it? Here's the answer. Hey everyone, this is CA Vipul Dhal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be sharing with you how I managed my CA and my regular college at the same time. For those who don't know, I'm a graduate from Hindu College, Delhi University and an All India Ranker in CA Finals. So I keep on receiving a lot of questions from my friends and peers. Vipul, how did you manage your CA inter exams and your college studies at the same time? Did you maintain your attendance in the college or did you appear for both the groups at the same time? We will discuss everything, my complete routine in detail in this video. First things first, I have to admit, I had the same fear that you guys are facing. When I cleared my board exams and I had to enroll for CA and for my regular college. But you must know, the process is not as difficult as it seems. On the contrary, it's actually much easier because the subjects that you're going to study in CA would ultimately help you prepare for your regular college exams as well. So to share my experience, by the time I joined college, I had already cleared my CA entrance exam. So I started preparing for CA inter right in the first semester. But as per the guidelines issued by ICI, you must have at least a period of 9 months between your CA entrance exam and CA inter exam. So I had approximately two semesters to prepare for my first exam of CA Inter. But the major challenge was whether to appear for two groups or whether to give one group at a time. But judging my own capabilities and the CA coachings and the pressure of regular college, I decided to go for one group at a time. Now the decision is completely yours whether you have to appear for both groups or a single group at a time. But my suggestion to you would be that you have three years in college and in this three years period, you cannot start with your articleships. So you don't have to rush into anything or you don't have to burden yourself. Just focus on one group at a time. But as I said, the decision is completely yours. So when I started my journey, I used to reach my college at 8.30 in the morning and used to finish all of my lectures by 3 p.m. Then I used to quickly grab some lunch and run for my CA inter classes. It used to start around 4 pm and it used to go till 8 pm. Around 9 pm I used to reach my home. So I intentionally kept my classes in the evening only so that I could attend my lectures in the college in the morning and could attend my CA coachings in the evening. Now let's suppose you have an evening college. So you can just reverse the process. You can attend your CA coachings in the morning and you can attend your college in the evening. One of the most important disclaimer that I would like to give you all is that I used to carry my food for the entire day. Now see, I used to leave early in the morning and used to return late at night. So it's very important that we carry our food during the day. Don't eat too much from outside because it will ultimately impact your performance as it will impact your physical health. So coming back to my routine, as soon as I used to return back from my classes, I used to quickly grab my dinner, have some relaxing time with my family and used to quickly sleep. What? You must be thinking when I used to study or revise for my college or my CA class that I have just attended during the day. So I would like to let you know that I used to utilize my traveling time a lot, whether it was going to college or whether it was going from college to my classes. I used to have approximately one hour each while traveling to college and one hour while traveling to my class. So I used to revise whatever I have studied in my class or in my college while traveling to those places. Additionally, there was off on Sundays. So I used to utilize that time and I used to revise all the six days study that I have done in my CA coachings on Sundays and used to usually ask my doubts to my mentors or to my lecturers on Mondays and Tuesdays. That was a small gist of how my daily routine was when I was preparing for my CA inter and I was actually attending my college regularly. There is one more important experience that I would like to share with you all because for the people who would be going for regular college and CA coaching, this is the problem that you are going to face. So guys, sometimes it could happen 
that your CA exam and your college exam will fall on the same day. So what are you going to do? It actually happened with me in the second group. So on the same day, I had my college exam at 9 a.m. in the morning and I had my CA inter exam at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So I decided to quit my college exam and not to give it on the same date as my CA exam and I went for my CA exam. Reason being, first, I did not want to revise all of those books over and over again and I wanted to concentrate completely on my CA and wanted to clear it in first attempt. Second, some of the big fours have a very strong criteria for picking up only those students who have cleared their both groups in first attempt. Now these both groups could be both groups at the same time or both groups given one group at a time. So I was actually selected for PWC and luckily I skipped my college exam but I was fortunate enough that college allowed me to reappear for my exam in the next semester. So it did not hamper my college performance and at the same time I was able to clear my CA inter in the first attempt. So if you face the same situation, my strong recommendation to you would be focus on your CA exams. Try and clear all of your CA exams in first attempt. Because college exams, ultimately you can take permission from your respective colleges and give it in the next semester. But your CA exams, if this time passes, or let's suppose if you fail in your one of the attempts, it's gonna take you next six months. And this six months is going to actually cost you when you'll go for your internship or article ship placements. However, I leave this decision upon you. So now you have to understand that you are the one who will be responsible for all the decisions that you make. Till the school time, your teachers, your parents used to make all of your decisions. Now I am supposing that you all are adults now. So you have to make your own decisions with the right knowledge and mindset. I hope my experience of managing my college life along with CA coachings and my experience of skipping one of the college exams to give one of the CA exams was useful to you. If you have any doubts, please feel free to post it in the comment section below. I'll make another video guiding you all. The right mentorship and guidance is very important during your CA journey. And I am very happy to help you with the same. If you have liked this video, then please do subscribe to the channel and share these videos with as many people as possible. Thank you so much.